first thing I remember when I came to this school is that I came down from my car and that my dad just started crying. And my mom was like, you have to toughen up for her like, cause we sent out of the house and everything and you're here crying. And then that night of the coming back, all my members just started crying and I felt left out so I joined them in the crying. I remember the environment and I remember not crying because I was a boarder in primary school so the whole being away from home thing wasn't new to me. My earliest memory was popping high tea in hostel. <laughs> My earliest memory in Atlantic Hall was definitely just one bash. When I decided to wear trad, like that is Ankara for bash. And then I was kind of feeling insecure because like everyone around me and all my friends were like wearing like their English dresses and stuff. And then I just kept on going, why did you pick to wear Ankara? So yeah, that's my earliest memory. When we had the first socials for the new students and they tried to get me to dance, then I ran to the bathroom and I hid for two hours. Well, the first, the first person I saw terrified me and that was Aiba who is still the co um, currently the biggest person in our sets. Um, the first thing I remember when I entered this hostel was we were meeting William, the current head boy. He told me that he wanted to be my friend. That was the first thing anybody told me. Um, so I came in because I was quite different from the rest. Coming from a public school and all of them are from private schools. So I knew I was going to be different. So I had to like try to adapt to the environment. So I had to start with him because he was the first person there. And my earliest memory was um, getting a girlfriend on the second day. I feel like no, legit. It wasn't the second day. It was um, second. My earliest memory is when I got to school, I was wearing a very big trouser. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was laughing at me. When Mubarak fell inside the pool, they did no, fall. he didn't fall. He claimed that he knew how to swim. And he put him <laughs> in the shallow end and he started drowning. <laughs> No, I can't forget that. Solo Mine was when we first came and then they told us to go into common room. They said that we should not dance in a particular way for cash. <laughs> they were like that we shouldn't <laughs> we shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and then we also had um, this freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle. yeah. I'm like, excuse me, my name, does anyone know? Excuse me, my name is Chira. I come from Mira. I like Amira, I love Shakira, I like how stuff like that. Okay. That's we that rhyming, like up, that. rhyming of the words. And then yeah. we had different songs, like Tua had a song for a Take a Billy. Billy. <laughs> we had songs for different occasions, like it was just so fun. So you guys, what's the most unique thing about Atlantic Hall? Like what do you like most about this school? The teachers. <laughs> The process of the way they pass on the knowledge to us, that's basically what's unique about this school. It's very difficult to find a place whereby the teachers actually communicate with the students as per they can develop a friend-based relationship with you and make you feel like you're not in school, you're still kind of at home. In my former school, the teachers used to flog. But now these teachers here, yeah, they are nice. You get to relate with them on a personal level. The people, the teachers, your house parents, they are all really welcoming and always there for you. We're like a family. Yeah. Okay. Like other schools, they yeah. segregate a lot, but like, especially in yeah. our sets. There's this bond, yeah. definitely, like yeah. in each sets, like in, with your set mates. So it's like, it definitely gives you from home experience. And um, like, we all know that's cliche, but then yeah. it's actually the truth. Like, there's no other way to put it about Atlantic Hall. Yeah, and we throw the best parties. Never yes. that. True. Best True. parties. The artist we bring is quite extraordinary. Like if you attend one of our bash bashes, you see that our artists are normally top notch. Most people inside this school, we love to turn up. Like I don't mean like just party. I mean like mosh pit kind of turn up. Like jump when you see, <laughs> jump, shout. <laughs> that just that's that's why I, I don't see other schools doing that. And I feel like at that's the it's only Atlantic oh God. that does that. Um, I guess it would be the scenery, like the scene, the trees and the greenery around school is amazing. It's one of the reasons why my my parents actually brought me to this school. My primary school, where I was coming from, like it was like in the middle of town and everything. But I just like how spacious the school is and how we have trees around. The sports complex, I think, is one of the standardized ones any school has in Lagos. Everything is good. I like the music aspect of this school. Yeah. 
we have different mindsets and opinions. So it's kind of fun to just mix ideas sometimes, you know. The unique thing is for the fact that the school has the ability to pick out talent in us. So I guess just the experience of being in the school is what makes it unique. It's different to every person. My plan for the future is to become an engineer. I plan to study mechatronics engineering in university, which is a combination of mechanical and electronic engineering. And I plan to work in the UK for some years before I come back to Nigeria. Um, I plan to become an architect. Like um, I'm going to A-levels first in Birmingham. And then after that, I'd probably go to University of Bath to further my studies for architecture. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to own my own company, a big one. Like, one of the biggest in West Africa. So I'm not too sure about the school yet, but I know I want to be someone successful in the future because I have like a really large legacy left behind from me because of my dad and I want to pass it or even try and get there and pass it. After Atlantico, I plan on taking an undergraduate course in biomedical engineering. I aim to be the like, the next Mark Zuckerberg, you know, a big tech giant. I'm doing a level for two years in the house. Then I will go and study at Louder. Georgia State University. My plan for the future is to attend the University of Manchester and study law, then move on to law school and become a lawyer and hopefully join my uncle's law firm in Nigeria or start my own in England. In the future, I hope to be going to SOC, Southern Ontario College, Canada. After that, for my education, Medellin, Colombia. I hope to become a neurologist. So I'm going to do a foundation program and then after I would apply to Yale or Imperial College London. At the side, I would love to do modeling. Yeah. Yeah, I see myself being an architect the best in Nigeria so far. Well, I plan to go to Canada, yeah, University of Toronto, to study there, to do mechanical engineering. To so, show my vision of being a fashion designer and also a lawyer in between that too. Well, mainly, I hope you guys just view me as a good fashion designer when I get there. Don't worry, you see. I'm going to go do year 12 in Canada for a year and then after that I'm going to, I don't know, I have my sights at the University of Alberta but hopefully I get in. I'm going to start geophysics. I'll say my plan in the future, I'll probably like to be a pharmacist but <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll leave the rest in the hands of God to decide that. Hey, I plan on being a footballer at whichever club allows me to progress to be the best in the world. Uh, for me, after Atlantic I plan to become a soccer player. I plan to start at Ajax. I plan after school, I want to do music. I really love making music. I like it when people sing. I want to inspire people just to be happy. I want my music to be heard. Oh, I plan to change the, con to change the country because it's obvious as the way things stand that Nigeria needs change and I believe I can be one of the people who can help develop and produce more to this country. I miss her. <laughs> I miss her because we're besties and everybody just makes me laugh and feel different. Even people I don't like, they make me just feel the way I am right now and they make me who I am today. I'm just going to miss them for that. I'll miss the times we play cards after light out, we play chess, all the fun games and adventures we make to make ourselves look light here. I'll miss um, DJ Seventeen, or like DJ. I'll miss Mato the counselor. I'll miss Dara Onas, my skin. I'll miss Chibuza. The guy for the ladies, especially Harmony. <laughs> All my guys, Benjamin, Alvin, IK, IB, Kamsi. All my guys, they know themselves now. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my G's, man. I'm gonna miss this guy, this guy. I'll miss Chibuzo, Matu, 
Mazu, you know, I'm Miss Oka. You know, the boys. I know the fun times we had. I'll miss my actual members now. They made life actually fun for this last year in this school. I'm going to miss my house parents, like oh. Mr. Peter and Mr. Matthew. I'll miss, I'll miss my, my friends. I'll miss battling with Mr. Peter, Mr. Matthew. <laughs> I'll miss the, the Kodak Bop of EKG. Okay, one thing I'll miss about Dara Onosea, which is his full name, would be he does the weirdest, weirdest things when he likes a girl hey. or <laughs> when he's attracted <laughs> to a girl. There's nothing else I can miss in Atlantico. And maybe Mr. Latunji and just some of the teachers, not all of them. I have three things. Okay. I'll miss her, the fans in the school, and my friends, yeah. I just had Mr. Kudu's staff room. Shout out Mr. Kudu's. I'm going to miss I'm going to Mr. Kudu's, Mr. John, Mr. Yakini, Mr. Latunji. Mr. Yakini. Yes. The person I will have missed the most. She has gone. She left the school. Her name is Lolia. That's the person I'll miss the most. I'll miss her too. I think you guys know why. <laughs> As for me, me, I don't have any hair. <laughs> I don't miss any hair. I'm going to miss my friends too. Um, I, I'm going to miss my setmates. Yeah, we've been through some tough times, but we come out together. Yeah, I love you all. The thing I'm going to miss most, definitely, is Look Fine Sunday. Look Fine um, Sunday! Look Fine Sunday was like an era. Like everybody would just look so great on Sunday, like that was the yeah. day everyone looked good. Yeah, and then, the yeah, I think what I'm missing is, is, is the good food. The food is good here. You can go for extra. The, yeah, the kitchen responds to what you say. If, if you want to make change, you can always ask for make change. They change for you. I think I'll miss like the people, um, especially like my current dining hall table, like SST dining hall table. It's really funny. We make jokes all the time, so it's lively. The people, basically, that's what I'll miss most about Atlantic Home. Uh, I'm going to miss driving here, like every single, after every single break, or driving back, actually, driving back to my house and relaxing. I'm going to miss the Gospel of St. Japheth because it was very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to miss Mr. Kudus. I'm going to miss Mr. John. I'm Mr. Conde, so you still owe me Fanta. <laughs> I'm not joking, I actually stole me Fanta. <laughs> Atlantic Hall has an excellent academic standard. For our set now, we got the best, best IG, IG result results and ever and checkpoints. Especially in the sciences, physics, biology and chemistry. I think and math. I think Atlantic Hall is very good at that. With classes like further math where only like ten of us are left, we were able to develop like a really great bond and all and that's something I'll also be grateful for. Teachers are quite good and they help us produce good results. Like a girl in our set got nine Easter's. Parallel. Parallel. <laughs> yeah, so generally the standard of teaching is very, very good. Um, the academics of this school, it's stressful. It's very stressful, especially in SS3. We hardly have time for ourselves, but we just try and make things fun for ourselves. Sometimes you can study with your set mates, you can play. They don't joke with the studies and the academic, like they have a high standard. And if you're not able to meet up with that standard, you look at yourself and think like, oh, what are you doing? Like they expect more from you. That's why the school has a lot of records in the academic. Yeah. And when you hear Atlantic or you hear, yeah, you know that they have a good standard for education. Yeah, the teachers are very dedicated. Yeah, and teachers are also very committed to getting you to where you want to be. Yeah, shout out where to you for academics, we're one of the best sets for academics. We really take it really seriously. Smart. The part that everybody has laptops, you can meet your teachers after school. I think especially for our set, they know that we're a really smart set because we get very good results. So they're always pushing us hard because they know we're capable of. We may not always like it, but it's effective. And also sports dinner. Yeah, sports dinner. Yes, sports dinner was always fun. I always, yeah, always nice. appreciate all the oh, athletes in the school. Atlantic Hall is sports inclined. Like when you want to talk about a school that does basketball, cricket, volleyball, running, anything, you can just say Atlantic Hall. Like that's the first thing that pops up in your mind because this school 
I see like they put so much money and effort and into yeah, sports and yeah. it's really it's really surprising. Like yeah. I I can I could never imagine like a school in Nigeria yeah, put yeah. so much money and investment into sports. Because in Africa it's mainly education, education, yeah. education. The coaches coach very well. It enables all of us to play and show our talents at the same time. So the sports in this school is very diverse, it has helped me to get into new things which I hadn't tried before coming into this school. So I've been able to experience those and start doing new things. I think this is one an opportunity to bond, make new friendships with teams and everything. And also you can go out for competitions, build on your skills and it's very, things very effective. There's the annual San Diego trip in which people go for events and competitions and they get to show their true capabilities. But then it's in this school that you can learn how to be really good in basketball, soccer, and represent them in competitions. So the social standard in Atlantic Hall is very good. Every Saturday we have socials, and during socials we do things like movie night and karaoke and musical chairs. And like, there's no senior, junior, like everyone is together. We all love each other as a family and there's no bullying or whatsoever. We just all communicate together and the relationship is really strong. I think I'm like the only person that socializes with, with everyone, including the just ones. Like I talk to them, I help them solve problems and things like that. <laughs> I know nearly everyone's name and it's quite annoying sometimes. Everyone in this school is very social, but we have bash and stuff where we get to interact on a deep level, yes. physical level, yes. vocal level, sound level. So we be closely bonded. Bash has always been a pretty good um, party, end of year. We always have artists coming and you know, everybody is dancing, clubbing and, <laughs> and whatnot. We have a good social standard here. Um, my advice is just simply spend time wisely. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give um, experience. Worst days give lessons. And the best days give memories. Mm, I think no matter what, you should stay true to yourself. Hang around who you want to. Don't forget to read hard and pass your exams. And live accomplished. Just one is basically like the time to have fun. Because as you go up, you find out that the level of work is harder. So as a just one, I advise you to just have lots of fun because you won't have that opportunity anymore. You can't be lazy and expect to achieve success. Never that hard. That's something you should carry along as you continue in this school. It's actually never that hard. It's you and people around that make it seem hard. But if you think about it, nothing is never hard. That point that you think is your breaking point is where hard work really starts. Maximize your full potential and also interact. It will help you in every aspect with your teachers, your house parents, your friends. You never know when they can help you. I would just like to say a lion does not concern himself with the affairs of the sheep. Like, there, no matter what you do, there will always be haters. So, you always have to stand above these guys. If you think you can do something, do it. Don't look at outside, though. Do it well. Make sure that you read, and after reading, you play. Cause all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Well, I just want to say that you guys should live your life no matter what. Life is too short to drink bad wine. Yeah. Just be happy. Tell jokes. It makes your life better. Yeah. Very. <laughs> makes life better a lot. It's it actually, it actually helping me. Like me, I won an award for Joker of the Year because I'm a very happy person. I won it. I, I won it the last time because I was very, I'm a very happy person. I actually like myself because I like the way I am. Yeah. I like the way I am. I'm leaving. You're still here. <laughs> Slap. When I was in just two, a priest told me do not retire but retire to acquire a desire. Think about it. I let it go. It was a phase. We took it on. It was difficult. But at the end, it was worth it.
Oh, 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 oh,